Five five thousand X-ray India India. X-ray India India contact Charles Center one three four decimal two five. See if jump. One three four decimal two five. Thanks. That's awesome. So this is like my fifth retry to get back into the groove for instrument training. This has honestly been a huge burden, a huge weight trying to fit this into real life, and it's just honestly I almost gave up last year. X-ray India India climb flight level, level two five zero. Climb. Two five flight level two five zero. Good lord, I'm not used okay. to saying that. That is funny. And you didn't say that a station on the last uh, one. Your radio skills are yeah, they're weak. Shaky, <laughs> shaky. They're weak. I think a lot of pilots or aspiring pilots have one of those things that stops them or slows their progress through training. For me, it's been preparation for the instrument written test. All right, so this is not a typical Flight Chops episode. This is the start to an ongoing IFR status vlog while I try to work through that damn rating. It's been killing me for the past couple years. The regular episodes will still be coming out every other Friday. I'm going to fit these in on off days like Wednesdays or something. Now, as a lot of you may know, we're looking at possibly building a Vans aircraft, which is a huge project, but it's going to take like three months minimum to ramp that up if I start it, so there is time to get my instrument rating done before that. But today, my IFR mentor, Osama, is taking me along for a ride here to uh, fly to Quebec. It's not a complicated flight, but uh, I'm going to see if I can work the radios and stay situationally aware. Osama's offered to have me over to his place a couple times a week to help me go through my studying, any questions I've got. So I'm going to pack up Hoover and head over there and try to keep on track. I'm also lucky to have guys like Jason Miller from The Finer Points to help and advise while I share this process. It's been really, really hard to basically publicly fail while I struggle with this, but I've heard from so many other pilots that have been able to relate to the vulnerability. So the chops are off, I got a full beard here now, and uh, I'm gonna be training for the next few months, no more filming for flight chops, but luckily I have a lot of stuff in the can, so regular episodes will still be coming. There's five or six episodes coming out of the awesome stuff we shot in Alaska, and then we did a really cool thing about women in aviation with Julie Clark. Jason and I had our daughters out to meet her. Okay, now you gotta bring the nose up and then pause it. Now go ahead and get that roll real. I let go of everything, so you did that all on yourself. So there's a lot of really epic episodes that are gonna be intermixed with uh, instrument training progress vlogs, I guess. If y'all want to follow along, that's what we'll be doing. And before you beat me up in the comments on this one, I realize there's more efficient, cheaper ways to find out where you're at, but Osama needed to fly these friends, and it was an opportunity I didn't want to miss. Austro ground, it's TBM Charlie Golf X-Ray India. System test, okay. TBM Charlie Golf X-Ray India, India, Austro ground. Charlie Golf X-Ray India, India, looking for IFR clearance to uh, Mount Tremblant. Golf X-Ray India, India, Austro ground, clear to the Charlie Yankee Foxtrot Juliet Airport. Oshawa 3, departure, flight plan rate, squawk 2255. Okay, clear to Charlie Yankee, Foxtrot, Juliet as filed, using the Osh 3 departure, and we're squawking 2255 for uh, X-Ray India India. X-Ray India India, ground right back, correct, advise, ready to taxi. X-Ray India India. So, look at this. This is our flight plan here. What you do is you push this, say panel, it's here. Let me say activate. You don't have to type it in. That's awesome. That's that's a flight stream. Is that what it's called? Uh, F yeah, flight stream. So three thousand. So can you get the checklist out, please? Okay. FOB sync and radar. Okay. It is and clearance. Do you have them? Flight plan. It's loaded. And let's just double check it. That's that's what I was ex expecting. Yep. Radios. Radios eighteen four twenty one. They're all set. Altimeters. Uh, 3034. Altitude selector. Altitude selector is 3000 as Oshawa 3 departure. Cabin altitude. Cabin altitude 25,000 feet. That's what a filed altitude. Heading bug. Heading bug. We're going to request. What, did she give you a runway or no? She did not. Okay, so we're going to request 30. Uh, okay, heading bug, you're doing that. Transponder 2255. Transponder code 22. Five five. Trims set for takeoff. They are set for takeoff. Flight controls. I'll get my knees out of the way. Three and correct. It really AFCS. AFCS. We're gonna put this in heading mode. 
and engine start. All right, time now is 14.51. So I sent the rough cut of this vlog to Asama to check out before I published, and I've also got other experts weighing in to give notes to make sure that we get things right. All right, Steve, hey, I saw the rough cut that you sent of you and Osama, and um, that's an amazing airplane, by the way. Uh, I know you're not going to be doing all of your IFR stuff in that, but what a cool experience. And I think it's great that you're doing these IFR status vlogs. I think it's actually going to help you finish the rating. I know you're super busy, but this is going to give you the focus you need to get through it. And I think your fans are going to get a lot out of watching you do it. So um, I'm happy to help where I can. And um, I've got a couple thoughts for you just based on what I've seen so far. So I think it's going to work well to have Jason and other CFIs jump in to help out with these vlogs. Yeah, Ash, we're ground. It's X-ray India, India at Tango 2 uh, with Delta, ready for a taxi. Look for runway 30. X-ray India, India, Ash, ground. Nine, runway 30, wind 240, 11 gust 16. Um, hold your position for now. Hold your position, X-ray India, India. Echo Julie Tango Tower, hold your position. 230, 11 gust. We'll take 23. We'll take 23. That's right. Want me to switch to it? Yeah. Ash, ground. What's up for Echo Julie Tango? Echo Julie Tango, sir. And with those winds, X-ray India, India will take a two, three. X-ray India, India ground on eight two three one two four zero eleven gust sixteen altimeter three zero three one. Taxi by Delta contact tower one two zero decimal one holding short. Okay, I'll taxi by Delta contact tower holding short of two three X-ray India India. And Oshawa Tower it's X-ray India India holding short of two three ready for departure. X-ray India India tower negative remain holding short landing traffic. Holding short X-ray India India. It's gonna be one of those days. Oscar Oskarowski Tower, number two, Fall Cessna, one mile final. Oscar Oskarowski, number two. Golf X-ray India, India, Oshawa Tower, have an amendment to your clearance, advise ready to copy. Ready to copy, X-ray India. Golf X-ray India, India, Tower on departure, left turn, direct T-Sec, balance unchanged. Direct uh, T-Sec, uh, keep cash left fit. What did she say after that? Direct T-Sec? Uh, left, direct T-Sec, then it's unchanged. Okay. But it's okay, see, we, we got it. Golf X-ray India, India, tower on departure, left turn, direct T-Sec, balance unchanged. Okay, on departure, left T-Sec, and balance with a clearance is unchanged. X-ray India, India. X-ray India, India, roger, remain holding short, landing traffic. Holding short, X-ray India, India. I hate I'm flying out of here on nice days. <laughs> Golf X-ray, X -ray tower, extend downwind an extra five seconds, we'll be departing traffic. Uh, going to let us out. Peterborough, 3000. Golf X-ray India India Tower, line up and wait, runway 23, traffic to exit the runway. Line up and wait, 23, X-ray India India. Two grounds, Columbia Golf, Lima Tango Papa, with Delta. Lima Tango Papa, ground. Tango Papa, this is T1, taxi instructions to runway, active runway for VFR flight to Peterborough at 2,000 feet. Lima Tango Papa Tower, standby. Okay, quick pre takeoff check, flap set and all that good stuff. Oh. Golf X-ray India, India, Oshawa Tower, through 1,500 feet, contact Toronto Center, 133 decimal 4, wind 240, Tango 16, clear for takeoff, runway 23. Okay, I'll contact Tower, uh, Toronto Terminal, 153.4, clear for takeoff, X-ray India, India. I'm also going to be using Instagram stories a lot to keep you guys up to date while I study, and we've currently got an A20 headset giveaway for Instagram followers. Bravo Lima, quick turn number 2, follow Cessna, 1 mile final. Number 2, Bravo Lima, Quebec, look it over traffic. Echo Julie Tango Tower, you able to be immediate? Echo Julie Tango, uh, immediate. Echo Julie Tango Tower, uh, negative, remain holding short, landing traffic. Echo Julie Tango, holding short, uh, 2 3. Oscar, Oscar, with you got taxi via Charlie Cross, runway 1 2, Alpha, Delta, contact tower 120, decimal 1, holding short. Dust 1 2, hold short, runway 2 3, Oscar, Oscar, with you. Golf Fox Red X ray tower, 1 2 5 0, Tango 16, clear touch and go, runway 2 3. Golf Fox X ray. So did I? Tower, runway two, three, suck. Wind, two, Activate. Zero, 16, now. 3031. Taxi by Delta. Contact tower 120 decimal 1. Holding short. Squawk 0077. Okay. And autopilot to flight level change. Five flip flop. Does it do both of us? Yep. Want to do it? Yep. Charlie, sir, hotel. What are we climbing for? 3000? Ground terminal is X-ray India, India off Oshawa, climbing through 2100 for 3000. TVM Golf X-ray India, India Charles Terminal, Squawk and Ends, maintain 3000 for traffic. Squawk and Ident, maintain 3000, X-ray India, India. You don't have to repeat the Squawk Ident, by the way. Okay. Um, you just Ident. Um, 
And just to keep the chatter to a minimum. Entry, India, India identified 2,700. Traffic to the Navajo. Come up to your 11 o'clock for three miles southbound. They're restricted to 500 feet above. Okay, we're looking for the traffic extra in India. Go Sierra X-ray, TBM traffic off your right side for three miles. So the climbing dive. southeastbound. Okay. They'll be proceeding eastbound to 500 feet below. Have the traffic in sight, Go Sierra X-ray. So she gave us direct T section. Traffic, 11 o'clock, high, one mile. Two, not above Got that guy. Remain uh, on or north of the shoreline. They'll be off direction traffic, same altitude south of the shoreline. Wait for the copy that. Stay north of the shoreline and uh, 2,000 feet. Oh, we got the Osher 3 departure. So are we still on that departure right now? She said left direct T sun. But now that we're there, is that our clearance limit? We have the clearance. The Osher 3 departure is runway heading 3000 until you get an X instruction. X-ray India India, climb 5000. Climb 5000, X-ray India India. X-ray India India, contact Toronto Center 134 decimal 25, see if late jobs. 134 decimal 25, thanks. That's awesome. I'm climbing for 5,000. And Toronto Terminal is X-ray India India, climbing through 4,500 for 5,000. TBM Golf, X-ray India India, Toronto Center, good morning, climb for level 230. Climbing for 230, X-ray India India. Roger. Actually, I said flight level, right? Uh, no, that's fine. You okay. can abbreviate it. But the way I like to say the, the, these calls, okay, because you say four, four is also a number. I okay? say climbing, right? It's a 5200 climbing 230. Oh, four, okay? got it. Or yeah. 6000 descending 3000, right? right? That's right. it. Yeah. Three, three words, basically. Uh. Anyway, okay, so yeah, so my question was that she gave us that waypoint as our clearance limit. Okay. Uh, first, first of all, your clearance was Osho 3 departure as filed, okay? Uh huh. That means. You, good to go. You, you, you're good to go all the way. You, you're, you, in IFR, you have to always think that you could have a, a total communication loss. So That's you right. need to know exactly what you're going to do until the end of the flight, okay? You, you get your clearance on the ground, and you should have all the information that you need so that if five seconds after takeoff, you lose comms. Go all the way. You go all the way, do the approach as expected, etc., etc., okay? Right. So. Oshawa 3 specifies runway heading, okay, 3000. What she's done is she amended the Oshawa 3 departure to say, after takeoff, left to TSOC, balance and changed. Okay. Which means you take off, once you're 500 feet in the air, you start your turn to TSOC, balance and change, continue with your flight plan. Okay. So when she said, as filed on the ground, that meant we've got it all the way to the end. Oh, yeah, because that's what we filed. But if you get a clearance where they don't say as filed, they might say to such and such point that... They give you points to take you to the airport that you're going to. Right. You shouldn't start taxiing unless you have a flight plan that takes you from the airport you're departing from to the, to the airport you're arriving to. Okay, so yeah, so that's what was always confusing me about the idea of a clearance limit. You get that word in the, in the written test of what, what does that mean. In this section here, I think the issue for you is that you're thinking of a clearance limit as like a, a limit to your clearance, and it's it's not exactly that. It is the limit of your clearance, right? It is the point that you are cleared to, and nine times out of ten in today's world, that point is the airport that you're flying to. That is the limit of your clearance, not a limit to your clearance. So uh, don't get confused there, and it's not necessarily related to an expect further clearance time. Is everybody good in the back? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. What's today's mission? I assume we're dropping off a family for uh, skiing? Yep, they're going to Montremblant to ski for a week. They uh, didn't want to drive for uh, seven and a half hours in a possibility of a no snowstorm. Storm. And we're going to do it one hour and one minute? One hour and one minute, that's yeah. correct. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Make sure India, India, contact Toronto Center, 12467. 12467 for extra India, India. And this is where things started to fall apart for me. Flying in the flight levels is really new to me. Or climb for 23,000? Oh, for two flight three. level 230. Oh, okay. And Toronto Center, it's X-ray India India climbing through 1700 for flight level 230. Charlie Golf, X-ray India India, Toronto Center, climb flight level 250. Climb to climb 230, X-ray India India. 250. X-ray India India, climb flight, flight, flight level, level 250. Climb five, two five, flight level two five zero. Good lord, I'm not used okay. to saying that. 
That is funny. And you didn't say that it's station on the last uh, one. Your radio skills are yeah, they're weak. shaky. <laughs> shaky? They're weak. Uh, and you didn't say it the proper way, which is, you know, you should have said. And now, yeah, yeah you should have said uh, Charlie Golf, and I always like to say all the registration. Okay. Uh, uh, especially on check in. Right. Yeah, it's it's weird to cut out the two or four. It's funny how subconsciously I uh, know I shouldn't say it, but then you want to say it. Okay, so let me uh, explain to you what's going to happen when we get to the other side, because this is not your. Uh, typical IFR flight because we're going to an uncontrolled mandatory frequency airport. Procedures, airport info, that one? Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Look at that chart now. Mandatory frequency 122.7. And what is it? It's Mont Tremblant International Unicom. Right. Okay. And if they're not available for whatever reason, when Unicom in up, it's Mont Tremblant traffic. But the important thing here is it's mandatory frequency. Meaning uh, you must call them five minutes prior to your expected arrival to the airport. Okay, must, mandatory frequency. Now, it could have been Montreal radio or something like that, in which case you are talking to an FSS guy. So we're going to be with Montreal Center, and Toronto at some Center, point, uh, day, he's going to say, you are cleared for an approach. But one of us is going to go on the, uh, on the other radio before we get there. All traffic? Five minutes. No, Unicom. Okay. Just say, uh, Montabla Unicom, it's TBM, Charlie Golf, X-ray in the India. Another thing that you're not saying is you have to say the type, too. Okay, yeah. TPM Charlie Golf X Ray India India. Uh, uh, okay, uh, X Ray India India, uh, Montreal, you can go ahead. Charlie Golf, Romeo, Charlie we are India, uh, inbound, zero, expecting zero. the field in 10 minutes. Golf, Romeo, Charlie, Yankee, okay, Toronto, Central, Okay, report when you're. Or, uh, sorry, and we're planning the RNAV 2 uh, 1 approach or whatever it is, RNAV 2 1 approach. And, uh, Montreal Center at some point is going to say, what are your intentions at Mont Tremblant? We'd like to fly the RNAV runway 21 approach starting with Debeb. You guys are coming from that direction? Yeah. We'll start with Debeb, okay? It's like, okay, you are cleared for the approach. Call me to cancel your IFR when you're on the ground. Hey. It's extremely important not to forget that step. Now, if we know that we're, we see the runway, we want to just cancel. We can cancel, but I know it's overcast. Okay. Uh, and we're going to have to fly an approach today. Okay. And yeah, we don't want to forget because that means nobody else can go into the airport until we cancel. Until we cancel, exactly. They, they've locked down the airspace. And if you forget for more than an hour, they call such a rescue for you. Then I, I read that. Um, yeah, we can actually reach them on the ground via radio. It's not always the case. If not, they'll give you a phone number to call to cancel after you land. Now, I think we can get our clearance on the way out on the radio. If not, we're going to have to call and get it, and you'll get a, a void by time. You will get a void by time even when you call them on the radio. Yeah, sure, yeah. Because they don't want to lock down the airspace. Uh, let you out. Yeah. Uh, they're going to lock down the airspace to let you out. X-ray India India, proceed direct destination. Direct destination, X-ray India India. Okay. Uh, so. We're getting rid of all our waypoints now. Uh, but we're going to have to change that at some point to uh, fly. At some, at some point when we're talking to Montreal, we'll say we'd like to do the RNAV 21 so, starting with DBEP or yeah, whatever. That's right. Okay. X-ray India India, contact uh, Montreal on 12877, good day. Okay, it'll be Montreal on 12877, X-ray India India. Hey Montreal, it's Golf, X-ray India India, level 250. PBM, Golf, X-ray India India, Montreal Center, bonjour, and uh, you want to proceed direct to certain fix for your approach? Yeah, we're looking for a NEBEP to do the RNAV 21. Roger, direct debit. Direct debit. X-ray India. I forgot to say TBM. But you otherwise. Say TBM, and you forgot to say Charlie. It's just said Charlie Golf. All of it. I, I thought when they say X-ray India India, 
Oh, this is the first call. You're checking oh. in. TBM, <laughs> Charlie Golf, XA, India, India. All right, all right. 250. You don't even have to say level. He knows you're level. Okay, I thought you wanted me to say level, climbing, or descending. 250 is fine. Okay. Okay, so we're now direct debit, okay? Okay, Roger. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, that's cool. So, four flight, let's me do that. So, I can punch this in, debit. And I'll say add to route. So, I got my iPad Canada doing it. Seven, contact Montreal Center on the one that we find. You got it there. I got it here. And, and watch this. You'll really enjoy this. See, I just changed direct debit. Contact Montreal Center, 135 decimal six. Go back to map. It's done. It's done. It's automatic. Yeah. Whenever I change anything here, it, it reflects it over here. Six three three. This That's is awesome. 8, so if I talk to the same dude again, I'm not going to need to say Charlie Golf, but if I can hand it off to a new person, you say it all. X-ray Alpha Golf, mine Golf, speed at your discretion, contact material. Love the French. Now you can comply with X-ray in the end. Yeah, that's it. One, three, five, okay. Uh, check in. Uh, Give him your type. Give him the full call sign. Okay. I trimmed out a bunch of the en route portion here, but there was an interesting conversation where I was borderline complaining, and Osama kind of helped get me back on track. If you're not in a school program, or if you're not doing it full time in some way privately, it is really hard to focus to do an instrument rating privately. See if like I am not a good student traditionally, so that it's like it's been the hardest thing I've ever tried to do, pass the damn written test for instrument. I feel like I understand all the concepts flying procedures and just practicing radio work, you can get that better. But memorizing those all these dozens or hundreds of things uh, some some that you'll never use in your life. I, it is what it is. I mean, I... Yeah, we all have to do it. Uh, you know, it was the same experience for me getting through the ATPL stuff, right? That was, that was painful. That was painful. And that's, that's got way worse stuff like, you know, uh, re you know, regulations on rest time and how many hours can you fly a year and every 90 days and whatever. Did you memorize that stuff? Yeah. Like, why? Well, isn't that stuff that you would look up if you needed to actually, if you thought you could come up it's against stuff, it? It's stuff that, that Flight Path does on my behalf. I right. just go into an app that they gave me and I fill out, and the app tells them, oh, Osama's done flying for this month because yeah. he's flown to, you know? Yeah. But, you know, it's like, it was like, th it's no more than 300 a month and no more than 1,200 a year. Three, five, two, five, when you're ready and to send if you're a single pilot on an air zero, taxi, two, then you can't do okay, more than ready down to seven, uh, three, zero, two, 30 six, hours a month. Four, uh, so it's just, the whole thing okay. is just complicated. Yeah, anyway, I don't, uh, it's tempting to just complain about it and feel defeated, uh, but I got it. Oh. Because I really felt defeated after that last year. I just really came close to giving up. Uh, India, India. You are clear, outside control of space, uh, via an approach in uh, Mont Tremblant. Okay, clear out of control of airspace for an approach uh, at Mont Tremblant. And will we be able to cancel with you on the ground? Exchange uh, India, yes, sir. This frequency 133 decimal is located over there at the airport, so we'll be able to talk to us on the ground uh, to cancel and also pick up the RFR clearance. So meanwhile, proceed en route, local frequency, and as I said, uh, give us a call on this frequency once you're on the ground. Okay, I'm switching over to Unicom for uh, X-ray in the India, thank you. I've trimmed out a bunch of the descent portion, but bottom line, we ended up doing an approach to minimums to get in here. Right, 2300 for 1500 for the MDA. Uh, so, okay, so we got 500 to go. Be close, eh? I'm starting to see ahead now. I'm ask for lights all the way up. No, I... Oh, I see it, runway site. I see it, too. I don't see any lights, though. All right, minimums, runway site, continuing. 500. Good, inertial separated flaps, you are that to go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments how you feel about the formatting. I'm still working this out. I don't think they're all going to be this long, necessarily, and there won't be flying in all these things, I don't think, because some of the time, I'm just going to be studying and trying to work through some problems, and maybe I'll share some of the things I'm learning. But of course, I'll still be flying in training, so I'll be sharing that stuff, just not as tightly edited as normal. And please visit flightchops.com slash contest for your chance to get the A20 headset we're giving away. Air speed. And watch for the next uh, IFR status vlog. I think I'll be doing these things on Wednesdays. I love when they clap.